Hi, my name is Hyunwoo, a developer advocate at Google Cloud. As data analysts, we often find valuable information trapped in complex JSON strings. Traditionally, parsing this data required Python scripts and an ETL pipeline, which slows down our path to insights. Today, I'm going to show you how to build a complete end-to-end -end AI pipeline entirely within BigQuery. We'll go from a raw CSV file in cloud storage to a visual recommendation engine using a low-code SQL-first approach. This entire workflow follows our code lab, which I'll link below so you can try yourself. We'll follow three simple steps, preparation, enrichment, and search. OK, let's jump right in. Here in BigQuery Studio, I'm opening data preparation. Our source is a CSV file in Google Cloud Storage containing data from the Metropolitan Art Museum. I'll select it and configure a staging table. As you can see, the data loads, but the real challenge is this label details JSON column, which is one long nested JSON stream. Now, watch this. When I click the column, the suggestions panel on the right analyzes its content. Gemini in BigQuery identifies this structure and suggests the appropriate transformation, flattening column label details JSON. I'll just click apply. The nested JSON is now unnested into clean, queryable columns. No code, no scripts, just one click. And this is just one example of its power. You could just as easily use this visual interface to enrich your data with joins, deduplicate rows, or apply dozens of other common transformations, all without writing a single line of code. But for our purposes, this looks good. I'll define a destination table, name it MetArt Flatten Table, and click Run. BigQuery now handles the entire ingestion and transformation job in the background. With our data prepared, we are ready for the next step. So now our data is clean, but how does a computer understand the meaning of words like landscape or portrait? It can't. To solve this, we use a technique called vector embeddings. Think of it as giving each concept a set of coordinations so similar concepts are located close to each other in a mathematical space. To generate these embeddings, we'll start from creating a BQML remote model. It doesn't train a new model, but creates a remote control in BigQuery that allows us to use Google's pre-trained Gemini embedding model. Now, to get high quality embeddings, context is key. Instead of embedding single labels, We'll first combine all the text descriptions for a single artwork into one comprehensive string, ordered by their relevance. This gives the model a much richer context to work with, which results in better embeddings. We then pass this aggregated string to the ml.generated text embedding function, pointing it to the model remote control we just created. BQML handles all the batching and API calls to Vertex AI in the background. This query will take about 10 minutes to run on this data set, so I'll speed this up. And it's done. If we look at our new table, we now have our original IDs alongside a new column containing the vector embedding for each artwork. With our embeddings table ready, we can now build the core logic of our recommendation engine. We'll do this with a single SQL query to find artworks that are thematically similar to a famous piece, Van Gogh's Cypresses. This query is straightforward. First, it selects the vector for our target artwork. Then, it uses the ml.distance function to calculate the cosine distance between that vector and all other vectors in the table. Cosine distance is a standard way to measure how similar two vectors are. A smaller distance means they are more alike. So let's run it. As you'd expect, 
The top result is the painting itself with a distance of zero. This confirms our logic is working correctly. The following rows are the most thematically similar artworks in the entire dataset, ranked by similarity. But the table of IDs isn't very intuitive. This SQL logic is what powers a recommendation feature in a real application. Here's a simple demo app built on top of our artwork embeddings table. When I search for Cypresses and click it, the app runs the same similarity query and displays the most similar artworks visually. This is the power of vector search. So let's quickly recap. We started with a raw CSV, used the data prep UI to clean and flatten nasty JSON, and read the data with AI-generated vector embeddings using a BQML remote model. And finally, used a simple SQL query to power a recommendation engine. This entire pipeline was built inside BigQuery without needing external tools. And the best part? You can fully automate this entire workflow. Both the data prep job and our SQL queries can be combined into a single schedulable workflow using a feature called BigQuery Data Pipeline. That's how you take this concept from a one-time analysis to a production-ready automated system. This prep and rich search pattern is incredibly powerful. You can apply it to product recommendations from user reviews, finding similar legal documents, or analyzing customer feedback. To try this entire workflow yourself, step-by-step, step, check out the full code lab linked in the description below. Thanks for watching.